Tux2 presents Minecraft Programming and more. Hello everyone, this is Tux2 here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to create a color shuffle arena. Yes, that is correct. I'm going to be showing you how to create a color shuffle arena. So I'm going to go out over here in our void world here for color shuffle. And I'm turning this on so I can actually get down really close to the um really close to the void because the closer you are to the void the faster the players fall and um, actually get eliminated all right so this is a good spot as any so I'm going to get to go down to y1 slash slash up one just to create a little glass block here there we go so let's get a wand here so just set that there and I'm just creating the ice at the moment Oops. there we what 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 okay okay slash slash set ice there we go so we've got a little arena here oh it's an interesting arena okay get me some dirt here and I'm just gonna place a piece of dirt over on each corner so you've got your ice base oops you need this in the opposite corner so on top of the ice you'll need your carpet there you go um, this carpet I'm actually going to make it a different color this time just for kicks so I'm going to make the carpet um, cyan. Hmm. Well, let's do number values then. Nope. That one looks cool. We'll have it purple then. Okay. So then we also need our, um, we also need our carpet blocks as well. So I'm going to take two different colors so I can create it here so each pad should basically be a square although you can do different ones as well whoops that's not supposed to be there also you can also go like and put two mats together as long as you make them out of different colors just like this so these will be mats that will actually be different colors right next to each other and the mats can be different shapes as well so some of them may not sense as one mat just of the way I sense the mats but you can also but you can definitely have some fun with it okay so I've got my mats in here let's add one more mat over here in this corner so also as in, as in addition to all the mats as well you also need at least three sign blocks so I'm going to have three I'm gonna get some some dark br some brown clay so we got the clay here so we'll make just a little tiny sign here for us just a three by three there we go so there's our sign in our color shuffle arena now that we've got our color shuffle arena made with our pads our sign and the floor we need to actually get it set up so make sure that we go down here so you do color setup okay it's going to ask you what the arena's name will be we'll just call it test one okay the color that the arena will be hmm, I bet you this is magenta here so we'll do magenta as far as the floor color there we go. Alright, so now we need to stand at the bottom corner of the arena. So this is including all the ice blocks as well. So we're here, so we type in ready. There we go. Now I have to stand in the opposite corner. Type in ready as well. There we go. So now we need to pick up to 11 colors and color pads because we have 11 pads here, it looks like yeah 11 color pads so I'm going to pick um, brown blue black green and lime there we go 
and I'm going to type in done to, to finish all those out. Okay, so we need to set the spawn point. So just stand where you want players to spawn. Type in spawn. There we go. I think we're good here. Finished. So now we can actually test our arena. And you can force start it as well. There we go. Probably helps if I'd be in survival. So it's dark green. So yeah, some things that you need to make sure of is that you don't have any other blocks underneath the color shuffle arena. Because if you do, then it's going to cause trouble. You can have your color... Sh one, one unique way to add a color shuffle arena to an existing world is actually put it right down to the void and remove the bedrock so that no one can actually see the arena unless they're actually in it. So just, you know, underneath the world, you know, near bedrock, just carve out a just carve out a cavern and then you can place your color shuffle arena in there without having to create an entirely new world. Just make sure you world guard it or something in case someone stumbles upon it and decides they want to grief it. But yeah, as you could tell, I cannot destroy this arena while I'm in it, even though I did make it. So anyone in the arena will not be able to destroy the arena if they're actually in a game. So yeah, that's it for the Color Shuffle tutorial today. Thank you for tuning in. And make sure to subscribe for more videos and more sneak peeks as far as what's going on with some of the new games on rsmv.net Suicide! Wee! Alrighty.